Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. You know, I wanna do something a little bit different today. What I wanna do is I wanna take a look at an item that was unboxed not too long ago. It was the Ace Magician Mini PC. Uh, this Mini PC uh, is model number AK2 Pro. It's great, it's got 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. What I want to explore with this device, and of course this is a device right here, what I want to explore is adding some additional storage. Now there's different ways we can go about this. You know, although I think when you're talking about adding storage to a computer, uh, there's several things you want to take a look at. You know, of course, you want to make sure it's within your budget. Two, you need to be at a comfort level that you're, well, comfortable doing this. And three, it needs to fit your needs. So what choices do we have? Well, first, we always can go with a uh, thumb drive. It can always fit inside. Thumb drives are good. You know, you could store on this and you could remove it and uh, transfer the data to another device. Another choice is one of these ultra small uh, thumb drives. This one again uh, fits in the USB port. Again, you can uh, save to this file. It's not as conspicuous. Uh, probably really good for laptops. You could store on this, pull it out, and bring it over to another device. Another choice you have, of course, is very popular, kind of on the expensive side, is you could always use a uh, external hard drive. Uh, depending on your budget, you could go with a traditional external hard drive or you could go with an external SSD or solid state drive. What I want to do is I have this uh, spare SSD uh, left over from another project and I want to add it to this device. Uh, that way I'll end up having two drives internally. There'll be less cables floating around, there'll be less items sticking out of the ports. Very clean and that's what I want to do with this. Okay, so what am I going to need for this project? I'm going to need the SSD. This is a two and a half inch uh, set of drive. You're going to need your favorite toolkit in this toolkit. You're going to need a uh, screwdriver. Oh, and what was really nice with the Ace Magician, it looked like it came with these four screws. Uh, not sure what they were intended for. I didn't see them on the instructions. And you know what? If you got one of these and you know what they were intended for, be sure to put them in the comments. But for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use them to attach the uh, drive to the drive bracket. So this shouldn't take long, let's get started. Okay, what we wanna do is remove the top first. You know what I thought? The uh, manufacturing company that designed these did a very good job, making it very easy to add the uh, second drive. Okay, so what you see here is you're gonna to have to just push this to the side, this lever. I do it this way, top is open. There you go. Now, let's uh, remove this tape. This tape is holding it down. Careful not to hurt the wires. There you go. And as you can see, the uh, drive will basically just fit into here like this. But what I wanna do, I don't wanna float around loose like this, so I'm gonna remove this bracket, moving this screw, this screw, and this screw, and I'll attach it. That way it'll be more secure. You know, one of the tricks I do is I always keep like a uh, little bowl or something like that just to gather the screws so nothing falls loose falls off the table. Make sure I'll have this lined up properly. There you go. One.
that's two. Three. And four. Now attach the SSD to the SATA drive connector. And uh, just for fun, on a side note, SATA stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. Just thought you might want to know. Just get the last three screws in. Shouldn't take that long. And there we are. Now we'll just plug it into the uh, monitor, get some power, and we'll see how it looks. What I want to do here is just take a look and make sure the drive appears as it should, and sure enough, there it is. And just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick format. And there you go. We just installed a, uh, an internal uh, SSD, added some more storage to this device. Uh, as you can see, it was very easy. What you do is really up to you. It's your own choice. I mean, depending on your budget, uh, your comfort level, and what your needs are. If you found this video of benefit and you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care.